How would you feel if you'd taken out a health plan under the Affordable Care Act, but your deductible is so high that it's actually cheaper to pay out of your pocket? Well, that's happening to a lot of people, and for one Oklahoma doctor, it means booming business. Joining us now from Oklahoma City is Dr. Keith Smith, director of the Surgery Center of, Doc of Oklahoma. Dr. Smith, um, this story really caught my eye this morning. You know, people traveling from afar to see you because your cost of care and their travel together can sometimes mean less than their patients, than your patients' Obamacare deductibles. How can that be? Well, it's not just the patients that have the new Obamacare plans. It's anybody that has an insurance policy, the premiums for which have skyrocketed so much since this legislation has passed that they've had to increase their deductibles to levels they never, never imagined. And they go on our website and they find out that where we have all our prices online, they can actually buy their health care cheaper than they can buy the coverage. This is incredible. If somebody, I mean, yeah, your if somebody pricing. Has a seven, Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, our, price, well, our pricing is online. We've had it online for five years now, partly to, to start a price war and to inject, you know, some of the free market and transparent pricing into health care. Um, but also, if, you know, save people money. There are people that come to us from all 50 states now except Hawaii. The first people that showed up were Canadians because you know, they found that they could actually they could actually buy health care uh, at a reasonable price. I think this is fantastic and it's obviously very transparent and it's free market pricing and you're looking at what it really costs to treat a patient. But my question is, how can you do it so much cheaper than, say, the hospitals? Mm -hmm. We've got a chart up there right now. For a pacemaker surgery, you charge 11400 Hospitals, apparently, 95000 plus. How can you make it so much cheaper? Well, the question is not why we're so cheap. The real question is why are the so-called not-for-profit hospitals so expensive? Uh, the real answer, though, is that our, our facility is completely owned and controlled by the doctors who work there. And by virtue of that arrangement, we've eliminated the most greedy profit seeker from healthcare, and that's the big corporate hospital. All of the money that you see on our prices goes toward healthcare. We're not buying out competitors. We're not buying physician practices. We're not advertising at expensive uh, sports venues and advertising and building all over the place. What you see on our website is what it actually costs to take okay. care of patients. Doctor, I'm going to ask, I, I, was, I debated in my head asking this question because it's going to come across like a jerk, but pretty much everybody thinks I'm a jerk anyway, so I'm going to ask it. Are you a good doctor? <laughs> yes, and, and I think You know what I mean, because we, we have the adage, you get what you pay for, and a lot of people might say, doctor, with all due respect, I don't want the cheapest option. Are you right. as good as those big hospitals that charge eight times more? Yeah, and, and I would argue that the hernia repair that costs $30,000 across town for me is not 10 times better than the $3,000 hernia on our website. In fact, it's not as good. And it's counterintuitive, but here's the argument. If you find really high prices in healthcare, all that's evidence of is the absence of a market. It just means that competition is being stifled. When you find more reasonable and lower prices, that means there's an active market where there's competition and prices tend to fall and quality tends to go up where you find the lower prices. So it's actually an inverse relationship in healthcare because the market, the free market has been so stifled in this country by very cartel-like arrangement uh, between the big corporate players. Do you know of other medical centers that are able to do what you're doing and do you think we'll see more of that? Yeah, in fact, Oklahoma City has become quite the medical tourist uh, destination. Uh, people are flying in from all over the place to go to come to my facility. There's a cardiac hospital. There's an orthopedic hospital. There's a full service hospital, a group of oncologists and gastroenterologists. So, yeah, we're being joined by people uh, all over the country, some because they see it as the right thing to do, some because they're tired of lose, losing business to us. And we've actually formed a, a outfit called the Free Market Medical Association to get all of the players together so, so the buyers and sellers can meet each other without the intermediaries. And, and we can do something about the real problem uh, with health care. And that's not lack of coverage. That's the cost. You're obviously a good businessman as well as a good doctor. So I'll ask you this. If you took over tomorrow a giant corporate hospital or hospital chain, what would be the first thing that you did? Well, I'd probably let a lot of people go. Um, 
because there's so many people that are involved in the corporate institutions that have responsibilities that do not translate into patient care. Um, all of the physicians that would be employed by that hospital would be would be given their pink slips and they would have to be in private practice and and live or die by the same discipline the free market doles out to every other business and industry in this country. That That's where I'd probably start. So, Dr. Smith, let me just take that one step further. Earlier on this week, we met and spoke to the new CEO, the first CEO of Obamacare, uh, Kevin Cunahan. Um, if you were in his shoes and he's got, you know, a lot of things to do ahead of him, what would be the first thing you would do to make Obamacare better? I would resign. It's a... It's an impossible task. The central planners never get it right. There is, there is no way that health care is going to get any better because there's more government. The government is the problem with health care in the first place. So I find it, I wouldn't even take that job. If I woke up in the morning and had it, I would resign. Okay, Dr. Well, Smith. That is a tough job. I it is say. a very tough job. But it's been a pleasure to talk to you. Thank you very much for joining us. I'm sure our viewers found that really fascinating.